Hello, everybody. And this is The Advisor with Stacey Chalemi. And today I'm very excited because we have a very special guest today. It is Dr. Olga Zilberstein. Zilberstein. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> She is a medical doctor and she focuses on aesthetics and she helps people with um, anti-aging and looking good and helping them to lose weight. And she's here today to talk about a little about herself, her practice, what she does and how she helps people and how she could help you. So Olga, tell everybody a little about yourself and what you do. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, I'm a physician. I uh, I have special interest in aesthetics, uh, anti-aging, healthy lifestyle. I am practicing in medical aesthetics for the last 18 years, um, starting as a primary care physician, but uh, working in an emergency room. But then I um, learned all about aesthetic medicine. It's like a very, it was very new grown feel. I, I can say it was because it was 18 years ago and um, I kind of grew with it. Uh, first practicing it as uh, my hobby since I love art. I love practicing and doing things with my own hands. And uh, it was very interesting and attractive area. And I was just doing it for my family and friends. And then it grew um, since people started um, referring to me. And um, I really, really loved doing it. As And now it's my almost full time. I still practice medicine as well, since I love medicine and I want to forget anything I learned. But aesthetic medicine is definitely um, my primary area of practice and interest. Um, so, um, yes, it, I do practice aesthetics, uh, general rejuvenation. Um, and lately I, um, got interested in anti-aging. So it's not for people just looking younger and more beautiful. Um, but it's overall holistic approach to, um, being healthier and younger from inside out. Um, so, of course, losing weight, maintaining healthy diet, healthy lifestyle, exercise. Uh, we also, I'm looking into IV therapy. It's kind of something new for me. I'm still learning, but I'm already practicing on myself. And like I already said, um, anything I would want for myself, I offer to my patients as well. So, um, maintaining healthy lifestyle, healthy weight, um and supplementation with um uh let's say NAD um which is a uh, very interesting anti-aging um substance um something of very big interest for me and it's it's a new area of medicine and it's developing so everything coming out uh, of research I'm trying really incorporate, first of all, for me and my friends and, of course, for my patients. Um, and like I said, it's very, very fast developing area. So um, and it's very exciting to area of practice. Since since the society uh, now we we live longer and we uh, we want to stay young and productive for our longer lasting life mm -hmm. it's not just uh we adding uh because of the contemporary medicine we're adding years to our life but we want to stay young and productive right and healthy and happy ultimately um right it's not just like a number which we live but we want to live a good and productive life yes definitely now you know a lot of people want to stay young and they want to, they want to feel young. Um, you, you have hundreds of clients that come through your practice. Now, when cl clients come to you and they want to look young and they want to feel young, you know, what are some of the biggest mistakes that you see people make when they you, you ask them questions and you're asking them how they take care of themselves? What are they doing? And they're telling you, do you see common denominators, common mistakes that people are making when they're trying to maintain their their youthful looks or they're trying to feel younger, you know, that's holding them back from being where they want to be? 
I feel like information is out there. What's good for you, right? Right. Um, if you got to be dumb not to know, I feel I feel this way. But yeah, still people of course make mistakes. I still have people who come in and they get terrible sunburns and and we always discuss that oh my god what did you do <laughs> you come into me for healthy skin for anti-wrinkle treatment but you burn your skin you still go on the sun and we know that the sun completely destroys your collagen completely destroys your skin uh, and people would just say, oh, I just like the sun. I will like the sun, but then it just doesn't make sense sometimes. But yeah, right. they, we do we do that. What we Like I said, we're humans. So, so we know that, let's say, sweets are not good for us. It's just not, it's not healthy. But again, we're humans. We do it. We eat it. Um, just like alcohol. I mean, um, but still, like, you got to be happy and healthy. You and... And everything should be in moderation. I I don't like that the when people completely restrict themselves of themselves from um, doing anything out there. So it's a, it's like a two spectrum of the thing. It should be everything should be in moderation, and uh, um, it's okay to um, eat eat a little piece of even sweet <laughs> at some point, but. Yeah. But as long as you stay um, healthy and uh, exercise and uh, just just do what's good for your body, because you're going to need this, that body. Right. Just like your skin. I mean, I understand you like, yeah, love the sun. I love the beach. I love I love going and enjoying myself. We should go and enjoy ourselves, but we just right. got to be careful and not to lay down on the sun and just just protect yourself. Right. So I guess that's the most common things people do with they're not supposed to do. And what are some of the things that you do that help people um, with their anti-aging? Um, so when people come to me, I always ask about their goals. Mm -hmm. So my primary work is aesthetics, is, is helping people um, to look younger To Because very often people come and tell me, I feel like I am 20 year, years younger, but when I look at myself in the and my face doesn't correspond to the way I feel. Yes. Um, so um, it's very, very important to look younger. Yes. Uh, because when we look younger, when we like what we see in the mirror, we actually act younger. And it's very interesting. There's a, um, the whole study came out now. Yeah, that when the people um, look younger, or let's say uh, the person uh, who just got plastic surgery, even or uh, some kind of cosmetic enhancement, they they look younger, they feel it younger, and they act younger. Yes, whole scientific study came out, so we know now <laughs> that's what it is. So that's what I do. I, I I ask people what their goal is, what exactly they don't like, because uh, whatever we do, uh, whenever we do cosmetic enhancement, we do it for ourselves. We right. don't do it for our children or husband or anybody else, just for ourselves, because we need to feel younger and yes. uh, look younger. And then that's why I feel younger. Yes. So I ask them what, what you don't like in your right. appearance and and then we'll decide how I help help to to achieve their goal. Um, so I give suggestions sometimes outside, like outside how what else can be done to achieve the goal. If the person comes in and they don't like, let's say, double chin, and I see that it's good, it's a good idea for them, not just like tighten up and improve double chin. Mm -hmm. uh, locally cosmetically but it's like maybe they need to lose a few pounds so we discuss it in whole what what's the best way to achieve what they want to achieve that's pretty much what we do now do you see a lot of people struggle with weight loss and do you have suggestions for those people <clears throat> well we know the, the we know the statistics right yes 
unfortunately, we, we are one of the fattest nations in the world, right? Yes. It's, uh, it's close to 50% now, right? Yeah, that's about up there, like yeah. Overweight. So, yes, uh, it's a lot of people who needs to lose weight, who needs to go, who needs to change their life, uh, lifestyle. And change of the lifestyle is the most important how we lose the weight. So yeah. it's not like a short term diet uh, where the diet usually work if you mm -hmm. strictly adhere to the diet but what happens beyond that yes that's what important so so change of the lifestyle is is very very important um so again it's all over the news it's all over everywhere that um now it's an FDA approved medications which help to lose weight and very effectively help to lose weight. Yes. Um, it's um, Azempic, Wegovi, Manjaro, semiglutite, there's a hepatite family um, uh, medications. Um, it's, it's, it's wor it works great and it's shown that it's helped people, especially overweight. Uh, or obese people to lose effectively lose weight and keep it off um, if you on medication what we do he, in my office um, we um, help people who needs to lose substantial amount of weight who is overweight or obese um, with uh, providing the right path with not just medication because medication is kind of easy when you on medication you lose all the cravings you lose um appetite pretty much you don't have appetite yeah and uh, it's very easy when you are on medication to lose weight mm -hmm. but the most important is um during this time when you're losing weight to kind of create this um healthier lifestyle approach mm -hmm. and um to keep it off because my goal is not to keep you on medication uh but the goal is to lose weight but then stay um stay healthy and keep this weight off yes um I actually heard from some of my patients they were saying that I'm so scared to gain it back yeah and it's a it's I guess it's good to stay scared a little bit because um if you um, already spent so much uh, of effort and time to lose all this weight, it's 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 good to just try to continue this way, and it's easier. It's easier. Um, it's a it's again it's a preventative measures of a healthier diet and exercise. Um, when you already kind of lost the, all this weight, then um, going on um diet and exercise because also we know we already know that obesity and over overweight especially obesity is is a chronic disease it's not it's yes. it's it's a problem of obsession with food and it's um it's very interesting that the medication uh, it helps to stop all the cravings and i had people who who were addicted to alcohol and they were addicted to smoking and they completely stopped it. Wow. I mean, you to, yeah. You, you need to want to stop it. Yes. And then medication definitely helps. And now there's more and more reports that it's any cravings, any addictive behavior. It's, mm -hmm. it's really, really helpful for any, any of those. Um, let's say, uh, bite in the nails uh, anything yeah. any rewarding behavior it it really helps wow so it's very it's a, it's a very interesting medication i think it's amazing now more studies came out that um cardio cardiac profile of people have changed they became so much healthier but it's it just makes so much sense because obesity is connected to many problems like of course diabetes cardiac problem hypertension yes. even car cancer yeah so with losing weight you becoming so much healthier right it's not just fitting in in size six jeans it's, yeah 
it's beyond that. It's like you're healthier, you're healthier for life. And it's interesting when people start losing weight, uh, because we work with them also about like their exercise routine. And and a lot of people have told me that I feel lighter. I feel more energy. I feel like I have more energy. So now I can exercise. So they start exercising. So it's all kind of interconnected. And they have they they really feel empowered. Like the when this those pants come off them and they yeah. feel better, they look better, and now they can exercise. So it's 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 and they it's it's good, it's a good thing to be that they kind of scared to get it all back. Yeah. Right. That's very true. Now you also do IVs, you mentioned. Now, what type of IVs do you do and why are they so beneficial? Right. Well. Um, when we age, we don't absorb nutrients as good as before. Right. And um, certain things like NAD is a big, interesting uh, area. Mm -hmm. um, it's a cofactor for in its uh, and, and and it's acetylcholine. It's like a long a long name, but what it does, it's actually in each and every cells in our body. And it's uh, shown that decrease in NAD level is connected to aging. Mm. Uh, so what it does, um, like it's it's uh, participating in 50 different biochemical reactions, which I'm not going to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> but what is important is um nad is um in production of energy so decrease of nad level with decrease of nad level we have less energy yes this is where one very important thing and the other which is i, I feel is extremely important is that nad uh helps in dna repair so what happens when we get sick or we get cancer which everybody's scared of yeah when um DNA, we always produce abnormal cells, mm -hmm. but our immune system, our body works on destroying those cells. Right. So once we, our immunity is down under the stress or when we aging, when we yes. don't have enough of NAD, so we, we, our body is not able effectively destroy those um, affected abnormal or cancer yeah. cells. So NAD is also anti-cancer. Um, so this is something very new. Um, it's actually used off-label for some of the neuro neurodevelopmental new uh, neurodegenerative disorders like um uh also it's used for um addiction like i mean people who addicted to certain sub certain substances it's great for actually for and um after covid brain fog oh really right so it's a, it's in, it's improving your alertness your energy this is something new for me i have to admit that because yeah. it's it's in general it's a new concept and i am like anything new coming out any new research any new scientific development coming out i am always like trying to be on top and learn about it and like i said something i want to try on myself mm -hmm. i'm trying on myself first <laughs> then <laughs> i bring it in my practice as well so but this is something very interesting so it's not just nad it's uh different other vitamins of course and vitamin group b it's great for your skin it's good for your um, hair um vitamin c of course it's a it's a huge thing for collagen production for immunity so it's it's a huge amount of different substances out there which just help us to be more energized healthy and happier yeah. And younger, ultimately. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, I've done IV in the past and, and the boost of energy is unbelievable when it goes right into your bloodstream. And I think that's one of the reasons probably why it's so much more effective than taking a vitamin is because it goes right into the bloodstream. It's more potent, correct? Absolutely. And uh, like I said, in general, we absorb less when we age, but it's a huge amount of other disorders out there, which... 
from IBS, from to celiac disease where people can't absorb normally. Right. And um, it's all be related to our, not just loss of energy, but like our brain, brain fog and yeah. different other decrease immunity. So many things. Yeah. yeah, but it's something I feel like something needs to be like developed more and studied more. Um, all those vitamins, I mean, um, we know it's great. It's out there, but also we don't know what when we consume in it mm -hmm. um, with our food intake, like um, with all additives in, in the food, which yeah. being used and and uh, how things are grown um it's a whole new area of discussion yeah yeah but um but definitely uh i'm actually interested what kind of iv did you try where you felt like boost of energy Do i did know? a vitamin b I did a vitamin b vitamin b complex well yes. it's like a few of them but mm -hmm. I see. interesting yeah. i, I interesting. gave me gave me a nice boost of energy when i when i did it Mm -hmm. definitely I'm trying now too and I see uh the hair improvement I have a few people who is trying right now and energy skin hair it's all yeah it's they all see some of the um definitely positive positive effects of it yeah most definitely now are there some suggestions that you give people you know when it comes to healthy living and you know because you can get all these things done but you have to maintain a healthy lifestyle also you know it goes it works hand in hand i think you know and i'm sure you would agree you know what do you suggest for people like you know maybe some suggestions on how to live a healthy lifestyle some important facts that you know people should incorporate into their daily lives if they want to stay young and feel healthy Absolutely. Especially those who is on our weight loss program, we always discuss. So what was your breakfast, lunch, and dinner? What did you do? Did you exercise? Uh, we always discuss, okay, this kind of foods, uh, whole foods, um, um, less junk and, of course, processed food or completely exclude them. Don't even buy them. They should not be in your house. Yes. So, um, that's certain tips um, how to maintain those healthy lifestyle because um, it's also shows on your skin. Yeah. Uh, if you eat healthy, um, it's not just applying, uh, applying um, expensive creams and potion and lotion. It's it you should be healthy inside out. Yes. And yeah, we always discuss that uh, vitamin C supplement great but uh trying to eat fruits more fruits and vegetables um absolutely so and so important i feel like i feel like it's a buzzword it's like everywhere yeah um, yeah but it's it's a little bit hard to incorporate in but i i personally i always tell people just don't buy the junk it should right. not be in your house at all i mean sometimes okay of course you go you go on the parties you go out and you can try a few things for me personally what i found i cannot try things if i see something i might want it but then if i make and if i even if i tell myself <laughs> i'm gonna try a little bit yeah. i try a little bit i'm gonna eat much more than a little bit mm. so for me personally it's yeah. easier not to try it right not to even try it because all those foods they made addictive. Yes. They it's just like you try and you can't stop. Yeah. So it's better not to just even touch it. Yeah. That's it. You stay away and that's it. It's to, for me personally, it's easier. No, I agree with you hundred percent. Now, yeah. are there are there some vitamin like when it comes to anti-aging, you know, they say collagen is good for you. Um, are there certain certain things with people who try to keep a youthful looking skin besides staying out? you know, of the sun and, and, and protecting yourself when you do go in the sun. Is there other things that you may want to suggest to people to help pre to prevent wrinkles if they can? Certain little things like I use a uh, silk pillow. I sleep out on, um, in terms of collagen, um, the jury's out. 
I know this few studies came out and they say, oh, taking collagen supplement is good for you. I personally, not a big believer because mm -hmm. collagen is a huge molecule. It mm -hmm. consists on different amino acids. So yeah. if you know biochemistry, if you eat food or you eat this capsule, it gets destroyed. It's not like this huge molecule goes to your skin. It's not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. doesn't happen this way right um, so collagen gets stimulated mm -hmm. so i am not a big believer of taking collagen supplement right um eating healthy whole foods is much more important mm -hmm. than just taking those capsules um i i also hate to take capsules because the encasing yeah yeah i just it's just it's just so unnatural yeah yeah <laughs> those plus i don't know plastic was gelatin in your body it's just yeah. it, it's i don't think it's a good idea so whole food um organic whole organic food is is, is much more important a hundred percent i agree with you and for exercise, do you suggest that, you know, what would be like a, a minimum or, you know, what would be a, a good amount for someone if they're looking to stay healthy, you know, what how long should they exercise for? Because some people go over the extreme and then some, you know, some people say, oh, 20 minutes of exercise minimal, you know, could make a difference in your life. What do you think? Everything in moderation. You should not be killing yourself. Um, I actually just went, I also practiced medicine. So I went to lifestyle and uh, sports medicine conference. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting what they were saying that you have to be always moving. You have to try always move. And uh, and I like those fra the phrase they said. So uh, what is the most, um, the, what's the healthiest pose? And they said the healthiest pose is your next pose. Mm -hmm. pose because you have to be always moving. Yes. You have to always move your body. And again, it's not so great to kill yourself. Yeah. Um, but your body should be like showing you what's mm -hmm. good for you. Right. Um, I believe in... Um, uh, moving like every movement every day whatever it is if you walk a lot it's great I love Pilates it's absolutely and stretching stretching yeah. is so good for your body yes um that's like a must um a little bit of iron um heat heat high intensity exercise a few times a week is very important to 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 keep your cardiovascular health Yes. But yeah, not killing yourself. Like uh, the point here is to increase your heart rate to the point that you can speak and not sing. Right. So your heart heart rate is up. <laughs> That's important to just stay healthy and right. move all the time. Try to move all the time. Now, if you had to take everything we talked about today and you had to emphasize all the important factors, what things would you want the listeners to understand? Um, well, are you got in my practice? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I feel like our ultimate goal is to, to live a happy and healthy life. Mm -hmm. And whatever we do, um, we, we do it for ourselves. Let's say in terms of facial enhancement, right. Or, maintaining your body healthy because if you are happy and healthy you can give away right those love and happiness yeah uh, you have to be healthy for your family let's say if you have little kids and some people say oh I don't I'm so busy I I don't have time for myself I don't have time to exercise but then you're gonna have to find time to go for treatments, to go see doctor, to go for rehabilitation. It's either you find time to prevent um, those diseases and stay healthy. Yeah. Or you're going to have to find those time to treat <laughs> treat those diseases. You still have to be spending time. And it's much, much better to find the time to prevent because it's much easier 
to prevent rather than treat. This is right. goes for let's say sun exposure. Yeah. <laughs> you go in the sun, you you damage your skin, and then you have to come and spend this amount of money to reverse all this. So it's yeah. the same with with anything else. So it's with, with gaining weight and you spend money to lose weight. Just right. prevention is the key. Yes, I agree. I agree. Now, where can people find you? I practice in Long Island, Five Towns, mm -hmm. uh, Hewlett, uh, and Brooklyn, Ships at Bay Area. It's one phone if anybody wants to call and get the consultation um i give you my phone number it's okay yes it's 718-614-9511 um if you would like to see uh the procedure what we do um it's actually you can go on our website it's very easy www.dr Olga, O L G A Z dot com, D R Olga Z dot com. Or just go on my Instagram account. It's just my name, D R Olga Zilberstein, one word, D R O L G A Z I L B E R S T E I N. Um, and, um, you, you you can see all the procedures we do, all the before and afters, um, everything there. So it, I think I think, yeah, social media is uh is is our kind of um face. Yeah. <laughs> right now, right now, it's it's always positives and negatives of everything. Right. Very true. Now, what are some of the um services that you provide? If you can name some of them, so people know. Sure. So, um, so my main focus is aesthetics still, mm -hmm. um, aesthetics is, uh, all non-surgical anti-aging, um, Botox and fillers and, uh, thread lift. Um, I, I do thread stimul biostimulation, by the way, we, we didn't talk about aesthetics at all. And my credo in aesthetics is you only better, meaning, um, best injectable is undetectable. Mm -hmm. So um, the natural uh, approach to um, rejuvenation. So right now, I just picked a few, tell you a few things about aesthetics. Right now, we're really paying attention to rejuvenate the skin rather than just feel. Yes. Um, I have, I always joke, I have like um, dissolving clip clinic more than injecting clinic like I dissolve yeah. a lot of stuff so because I want you to look natural yes so we have a great tools now for collagen stimulation and rejuvenation skin from within rather than just feeling feeling it and creating yes. any unnatural results it's 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 really really a no-no um in our clinic so we working with the skin to create a healthier lifted skin rather than filled kind of or overfilled look yeah we also use uh machines i have a radio frequency microneedling machine which tightens and lifts stimulates collagen production and tixel also a great machine it's great for um, around the eyes it's uh just based on heat there is no nothing there there's no laser there's no um radio frequency energy but it's very very safe machine to kind of improve your skin stimulate collagen tighten and lift i like and we, we talked about um our weight loss program and um lifestyle modification program and um iv therapy mm -hmm. yeah so that's the main thing what we do and and I, I love the fact that you you're very into making it look natural because I've seen, yeah. you know, they some people they overdo it, you know. So it's nice when you have a doctor that focuses on trying to make it natural because that's really what you want. You want it so people don't know that you have it, you know. It, Absolutely. You know, that's Best detectable. Best in injectable is undetectable. Exactly. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. And that's when you know you have a good doctor, when you go and you get it done and it's undetectable because that's the way it should be. That's that's the should be. Yeah. If it, I always say if it's 
um, if people can see that you've done injections, that defeats the purpose. Yes, 100%. Yep. That's why people need to go to you. <laughs> that's right <laughs> well okay this has been wonderful i hope you'll be back on the show i'd love to talk more about aesthetics and maybe go more in depth about the different procedures and and help people learn about different ways to make themselves look more youthful and do it naturally and this has been a great time thank you so much for coming on the show it was a pleasure you meeting so you much. thank you so much thank you for having me have oh, a you're... great day thank you, you too thank you you have a great day Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.